I'm Courtney Connor, the head women's lacrosse coach at Arizona State. We're looking to gain fans for our program. We start officially in the spring of 2018. We thought we'd come together as a staff to help everyone understand the sport of lacrosse. It's a combination of basketball, soccer, and ice hockey. There's two main parts of any stick, and it's the shaft, which is your pole, and then the top part of your stick, which is the head of the stick. And the stick, we call it an extension of our body because it is. Um, you know, it's in your hands for offense, defense, whether you have the ball or not. You cradle with the head of your stick, and you cradle to keep the ball in your stick. You want to be able to cradle at all levels and on both sides of your body. It's a very basic ground ball pickup. It's what we teach all young players, and it's literally a scooping motion, just like taking a scoop of ice cream. Catching and throwing, another important aspect of the game. Whenever you catch and throw, obviously you need to utilize your cradles in between passing and your catching. Dodging on the field, there are two main points. Number one, you want to change your direction. Number two, you want to change your speed. And we use dodges to either free our hands to get a shot on goal, or we use a dodge in the middle of the open field in order to beat a defender. Defensive positioning is very important in any game, especially in lacrosse. Moving feet quickly, making sure to stay low with arms in the exact same position. This is where all the action happens in the game of women's lacrosse. The goal cage at six by six. Obviously you want to aim towards the corners. That's first and foremost going to be harder for any goalkeeper to save. Similar to ice hockey, we play around the backside of a goal cage. So offensively, defensively, anyone can go around the backside. Women's lacrosse is very much a finesse sport, and it's a creative sport. You know, that's I think what makes it so exciting. It's called the fastest sport on two feet for a reason, because it's literally run and gun at all points. The sky's the limit in terms of skills, creativity, and what you can really do on the field.